KDE on Ubuntu 20.04. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Hey everyone, what's happening? So today I am doing something kind of interesting actually. I will be installing KDE Plasma on top of Ubuntu 20.04. Now, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to react. I may anger the fossa a little bit. Um, I know I'm kind of poking a stick at it. It's like I woke up today and said, hey, you know, I got this first 20.04 Ubuntu install. So, you know what would be fun? Let's break it. Yeah, well, actually, yeah, this might actually break something. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. So, yeah, this would not be, you know, recommended on an alpha build, but... I have nothing important on this particular uh, laptop, so let's go ahead and let's do that. Oh, by the way, uh, I did install it on bare metal. If you haven't watched that video, it's up here in the in the corner right here. And uh, let's go ahead, let's start this. So here we are. So let's go ahead, let's get KDE Plasma installed. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and use the terminal, actually, because it's about the easiest. And I'm going to do a sudo apt install, just like normal. Now, to install a KDE Plasma on a Ubuntu-type machine, it'd be the kubuntu-desktop. And this is just a meta package that's going to pull everything down. So let's go ahead, let's enter my... And as you can see, it's going to pull down all the Qt libraries, because it's Qt and all that kind of stuff. It's going to install all of this. Look at all this. So... Let's go ahead and let's let's go ahead and press yes. Now this is going to take a little bit, so I will be back when this is done. So now I've got this installed, there are a couple questions about configuring your uh, display manager, etc., which I handled. So I'm going to go ahead and log out and switch desktops into the Plasma desktop. So here I am on KDE Plasma, um, running on Ubuntu 20.04, and uh, it looks pretty good. Um, so let's uh, go ahead, let's check a few things, like the memory usage. And it's using 703 megabytes, and that's including recording. Um, let's see, uh, NeoFetch. Uh, it's going to, of course, the kernel's still 5.4. Um, the desktop environment, of course, is Plasma. Doesn't tell me what version. We'll check which version it is in a second. And, uh, yeah, um, it's about what... Uh, let's go ahead, let's see if I can figure this out out uh, which version it is so it'd be on computer wouldn't it info center this is kde plasma 5.17.9 uh, i don't know which version kubuntu uh runs off of right now may i'll check that in a minute uh i believe it that still might be the same version i'm not sure uh, then, uh, so let's go ahead, let's play around a little bit. So let's go ahead, let's dive into the options. Okay, first of all, let's change this menu. Um, I like this one. Uh, 
yep that's the one and let's go ahead let's dive into the settings all right let's get this looking the way i like it uh first of all we're gonna go to um global theme right here we're gonna change it to breeze dark i like me a nice dark theme and then we're going to go uh, plasma style. Let's see if there's anything I need to change in here. We'll change it to breeze dark. And then we'll uh, go application style right there. Uh, I like that. There we go. And that'll be just fine for me. Uh, colors, I'm not going to change that. Workspace behavior. That'll be fine. Uh, screen edges, disable that. Uh, touch screen. Desktop effects. Uh, this will be just fine. Um, settings. That'll be just fine for me. Okay. There we go. Alright, apply. Okay, so we're going to go ahead down to... Now we're... Okay, and um, all right, and then our uh, cursors. This will be just fine. Icons. Um, there we go. That'll be just fine. Um, I right, continue known applications go to um, breeze dark and make sure they all match okay and uh, this is basically how I like my KDE As you can see uh, you let's see let's go ahead let's bring up uh, dolphin this is dolphin um, Let's go ahead and uh, uh, let's see. Um, configure desktop. Let's uh I like this one. We'll just do that. And uh this is basically my KDE. Let's go ahead, let's open up Nautilus. See, they all match. So um, this is basically how I like my KDE. As you can see, it's pretty responsive. And there we go. So that was installing Plasma on Ubuntu 20.04. As you can see, it didn't break anything. I actually got back into my GNOME environment. So uh, everything seems to work just fine. Now I don't recommend doing this on a testing version, especially this early in development, but I figured I'd try it. I like to live dangerously. But if you'd like to see me uh, experiment more in Ubuntu Plasma, 
uh, go ahead and leave a comment in the section below. Um, if you like it, go ahead and give it this video a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's what that thumbs down button is for. And hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. See you later. If you like my content and wish to support my work, you can do so on Patreon. The link is in the description. Also, if you wish to see more, check out the videos on your screen.